I wore it to the airport, I wore it from the airport to the hotel, to the pool. I wore it like almost every day. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's Taylor. For all of y'all that are new here, my name is Taylor and I have a passion for fashion. If that's something that you're interested in, where I talk about all things luxury, designer brands, travel, lifestyle, vlogging, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button. I would love for you to be a part of this community and continue to go on this journey with me. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving a review about the famous, famous, most popular, popular sandals from Hermes called Chapre sandals. I may be pronouncing it wrong, but Chapre, Chapre. I believe it's like that, C-H-Y-P-R-E, sandals. <laughs> and with these sandals, I know everyone has seen them on social media or you've seen them on a resale website where they resell it for like double the price that it normally is. It's actually valued at a reasonable price considering it's Hermes, but let's get into it. Also, if you're interested in this top, it's actually some matching pants as well. Um, you may be able to see in a later segment, but it's by Talarosa and it's on Revolve's website that I got a few years ago, but I believe they bring it back every year during like the fall winter season. Just very comfortable, very easy to slip on, and I just love a set. It's just an easy one-two that you can hurry up and put your outfit together. So let's get into these sandals. So I don't know if everyone knows, but it's very, very, very hard to get these sandals. A lot of people actually compare it to being just as hard as getting a Birkin or a Kelly, which is no over exaggeration. <laughs> Now, I've asked my essay about these sandals before. I previously had an essay and now have a different essay that's a different story um, at a different location, but it's very hard to get these. I believe I was on the wait list for about three months, but the thing is, they also post these sandals on the website. I know it helps to purchase it from your essay because it helps build your profile so that you can be offered a quota bag and it shows your loyalty to your essay. But if you really want these shoes and you're not worried about that and you're willing to make the exception, I say go for it. <laughs> So I say that to say, you normally have to like stalk Hermes website to see when they replenish because there's no specific time that they replenish on their website for shoes or anything ready to wear, accessories. You just have to literally keep watching the website. Well, there's a girl on social media, a lady, <laughs> styled by Shishi, who I absolutely adore. And I turned on my notifications from her because anytime there are chaprays that are online in stock, she'll post it with the link that says run girl run. Okay, so when I saw that link while I was at work <laughs> with that notification, because I set the notifications to her page because I knew she was gonna let me know when these sandals were in stock. <laughs> I ran to that website and I cannot lie to you all, within 30 minutes, now when I first went to the website, then every size from size 35 to size like 44, okay? After about 30 minutes, after I secured my sandals, every size was sold out every size it's crazy that's how fast they go so just to give a little history on mine just a little quick these i was able to secure online and then not even a week later my essay offered them to me so that sucks but i mean at least someone else is able to get them and i was able to secure these and I got the white ones online as well, but the orange, I was actually able to secure that on vacation in Vegas and the essay didn't have it in store, but she asked me what color I wanted. She was able to search the database, the inventory and saw that a store in LA had it and they shipped it to me. So that was really awesome because I wasn't expecting that. I just asked on a whim and <laughs> I was able to get them. So just a little 
brief information about the sizing, they do run small. So all of these chaprays that I own are size 39. If you do own Iran sandals, those are for me a 38 and a half. So you do have to go up half a size from your Iran sandals to the chaprays sandals. Um, I'm not sure why that is. It's essentially like a Birkenstock and I believe like the Birkenstocks, you kind of have to get a little bigger size. I'm not sure. I do own some, but I don't remember what my sizing is in that. But you do want to go up half a size in these shoes. So just to get into comfortability, of course, the shilling with the suede is the most comfortable. When I was walking in them, it felt like I was walking on cotton, like I was in my house shoes. That's how it felt. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I switched from my slippers to these shoes and I wear my slippers all throughout the house. But I literally switched from my slippers to these to go out to go to dinner and it was the best. I 100% recommend the shilling with the suede. I actually waited for these for a long, long time. And I asked my initial essay about them maybe a year ago. And it just so happened, I saw my new essay now, I asked her about it maybe two months ago and she came through. But um, I was able to secure them online. So it was like really, really, really exciting. They actually have some other ones now that are blue suede it's like a tealish blue with the shilling in the inside and it's really nice so moving on to these um just so you can see this a little clearly the white and the orange now the white i'm not sure which leather this is but i do know that the orange is actually epsom leather now when i wore the orange sandals i wore them like for a whole weekend one time no over exaggeration i wore it with every outfit i wore that weekend i wore it to the airport i wore it from the airport to the hotel to the pool i wore it like almost every day of that weekend every second what i can say about the orange spray sandals or about the ones with epson can't say that it's so much these but i do know what this orange like right here in this area it actually rubs up against your skin and it was causing like some irritation for me even to the point where you know how sometimes you'll have like those ballerina flats that kind of like grab on the back of your ankle these were grabbing like on the front of my foot and it made it like very uncomfortable, kind of like brushing off your skin. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend for like all day wear, like I was wearing them, which is I know unfortunate because we all love these sandals, but um, they're still, very, they're comfortable. Just, I wouldn't do it all throughout the day because that's when it starts rubbing up against your foot. Maybe I do need to break them in a little more, but I have seen, other um, people as well address the same concerns about this particular leather um, with their Chapre sandals and with that irritation on their foot. So be mindful. I have seen some people actually put, I don't know what it was that they put there, um, but they put something here so that it won't rub up against their foot. You might be able to get it like at a good feet store um, because we have something like that in my area uh, just for feet or a good feet store where they will specialize in things like that so it won't rub against your foot with those, instead of putting a band-aid on your foot, which is so not attractive or fashionable. <laughs> you would actually put something that's designated for this to put on there so it doesn't irritate your foot. So that's something to consider. So with these white ones, unfortunately, I'm not able to give a good review on the leather for this because I have not worn them yet. Funny story, I was able to secure these, but like I said, the Hermes website acts a crazy mess when you're trying to secure these shoes. And I was on my computer, I was on my phone trying to do Apple Pay, trying to do the payment on the computer, it wasn't going through. 
fortunately it did go through and <laughs> it shipped the crazy thing is which i didn't realize i purchased it twice so i had to send a pair back um that's just something to be mindful of i'm telling you when everyone's trying to buy these shoes it's just like trying to buy some jordans on the website and everything is freezing and you need to hurry up and get to the cart and check out and get a confirmation email to secure that it went through that's how it was for these. I know they're sandals. It's crazy that you have to do all that, but it's true. Like I said, you can also wait for your essay as well. Um, they're not, my essay wasn't upset that I was able to get them online. She knew that I really wanted these, but that just depends on your relationship with your essay. Um, and they'll even tell you some things the website gets that the store hasn't gotten for a long time, which is what my essay said. He said the white Shiprae sandals, he hasn't seen those in store since they first came out, which is crazy. So the website does typically restock faster or more frequently with um, high desirable items rather than the boutique, quicker and faster. So that's just something to keep in mind. And just also to address the pricing, I believe that the leather is $710 and the shilling Correct me if I'm wrong, I may have to add a correction on here. I believe it was $8.90. And um, it's just a difference in price, of course, because of the shilling and the suede as opposed to the leather. But I do 100% recommend these sandals. Which color do y'all prefer of my sandals that I have? Or which one would you prefer, leather or shilling? Please comment that in the comment section below. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video today. And if you don't own a pair of Chipres, I really hope that you're able to secure a pair because I promise you, I they won't do you wrong. I 100% recommend them. You can put it with a dress, jeans, and I've actually worn them both ways. And it's so cute, casual, but trendy and vibrant with the color the pop of color so i definitely recommend i hope y'all can get y'all's hands on it or feel free to give you a recommendation for which one you prefer in the comments it was good seeing y'all this time please feel free to follow me hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time